All right, packing in with a couple of long necks. After meal deer, we're almost to the snow line. We still got a ways to go to where we're gonna set camp. So, it'll be fun, huh? First time I'm ever using llamas. As you know, Travis and I have always used horses and mules. We pack in the back country, or sometimes we just pack a small camp in our back. But it's always fun to just try something new. Say hi to the camera. We are almost a snow line. All right, there's both the llamas. It's 9.30 right now. Finally got the tent set up, wood stove. I'm in solo today. Got a nice fire going. Just trying to dry out some wood. Uh, time to eat a good meal and go to get a sleep and start mule deer hunting. It's kind of nice that I don't have to um, hike to mule deer elevation. I just wake up to mule deer elevation and just start hunting. We'll be ready to hunt muleys tomorrow morning. We are right at the elevation, so we'll pretty much be hunting as soon as we leave the tent. I just started hitting mule deer trucks by the time we decided to stop. Well, we, me, llamas didn't have a choice. Good night's sleep. That's a really good wall tent. Get me warm at night. I'm just gonna, as soon as that trail starts cutting up, I'm just gonna keep side hill, and this is right at the mule deer elevation. Should be a fun day. As tempting as this buck is to shoot, he just needs a couple more years to mature. So we're going to move camp. There's a big storm coming, as you can see, rolling in right there. But I wanted to take a couple minutes and just um kind of a shout out to my friend Bo. I was able to rent out two of his llamas on this trip. So they're comparative to horses and mules. They're definitely a lot lower maintenance and they're just just a lot easier of an animal to take care of, especially being in the backcountry. For me, when I'm in the backcountry, I just want to hunt. I don't want to have to deal with an animal that much. And um, Travis and I have hunted with horses and mules for years. And there's just a lot of maintenance with a horse and a mule. Um, llamas are pretty easy going. And so this is my first experience with them. Been really impressed. I could see why Bo has been using them quite a bit. He, he spends a lot of time in the back country. If any of you are interested in renting, renting out some llamas from Bo, um, give him a call and he'll take care of you. If you got a nice, like a trip where, if you have a trip plan where you got a pack in the back country for elk, mule deer, moose, anything, get in contact with Bo. And the other thing I wanted to mention was he actually just started building these tents as well. My uh, stove's a little bent, but that's my doing. <laughs> there we go. Now it's straight. Okay, he just started building these um, wall tents. Really nice. I, I got the smaller version. Um, it's two guys very comfortably, but I'd say it's more like a, I guess you could say it's a six man tent. I really don't know what you consider it as, but um, I'll show you. I could stand up inside, which is nice. I ended up drying everything out, all the, all the panniers and stuff. And I just had my sleeping bag there temporarily and drying out some firewood. Yeah, it was really nice. I slept very comfortable. And I, I know the clothes that I was wearing was the clothes I really needed to hunt with for today. So I stoked that wood stove really, really hot last night and draw, pretty much dried out all my stuff, including my boots, and had a very comfortable day hunting um, at Mule Deer Elevation. I'm a long ways back, and it's really important to to be comfortable at camp, to feel like camp's home. 
you know, like sure you can rough it hunting and put a lot of energy hunting, but camping should be as comfortable as you can so that you have a good hunting experience in my opinion. So for me, a very comfortable experience is to have a wood stove. That makes the hunting, the camping experience good. Now in the summer, you know, summer, early fall months, yeah, you know, it's nice to spike camp with like one of those smaller QU tents and um, that's that's what we like to do. You can throw a QU tent in your back and um, run in the back country and you don't necessarily need llamas for that. So you can pack in with a small tent, but in this situation, you got a lot of snow on the ground. It's getting close to, well, talking about Fahrenheit here, it's been a good about teens at night. So last night it was probably within 15 degrees or even colder. I really don't know. I just know that everything was frozen. Um, but yeah, no, very comfortable camp. Really impressed with the setup. We've got a pretty nasty storm coming, so we're, we're gonna back out of the mountains temporarily and then as soon as the weather gets nice we'll pack back in and we'll be back meal there hunting it's just taking time to find a nice buck to shoot